Ah, work that small thing, baby, work it. Oh, yeah. Now rub the tip. Ooh. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Ah, leave the big toe until last. This is fucking disturbing. Don't stop now, woman. I paid good money for this. I don't give a fuck. You're so strong, handsome, and mysterious. I know. Run your hands through my hair. wealthy too. I've always wanted to have lots of money. It's easy when you know where to look and who to spend your time with. Need my earlobes. Shut, you mean little old me. Don't flatter yourself. Rub my neck. Rita is the pretty means to a perfect end. Rita, why you shrewd devil you. You must have big ambitions. Of course. Does this excite you, wench? Oh, yes. Then you'll get a real bang when I build my empire. Stroke my shoulders. An empire? You'll need lots of- You dumb girl! When they handed out brains, I bet yours came out in a shot glass. Fondle my chest. Weren't you listening? I said for- Ooh, tell me more. Imagine thousands of imbecilic broads working for a pittance across the vast chain of hospitality houses. Ah, the smell of slavery and sweat. And that's only the beginning. Next will come the merchandising. My likeness on every underwear and contraceptive. My body parts molded for everyday use. There won't be a soul who doesn't wear me or possess a piece of me. That's simply brilliant. Yes, it's time. Not again. You want another toe massage? No, something better. It's time to get you off. Oh gosh, no! My bed. I'm going to sleep. I don't want to see your ugly mug when I wake up. Don't worry, Fagator. You sure as fuck won't. I wonder how Rita fits into his crazy plan. I'm not going to let him use her like that. I have to expose him. Hmm. What's this? A little ID might shed light on things. Pansies are us. Garden maintenance extraordinary. Certified landscape gardener, PhD. This guy is a fraud and a fat. <laughs> gotcha, Andretto. I'm not coming. You are too coming out of the closet, you little snaggle tooth bitch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and thanks a lot for bailing out on me. Real supportive. I'm not into the menage a trois thing. Besides, I figured you two needed some privacy. Whatever. You should get changed in. You should shut the fuck up, Merritt. Before I beat you in the head. You back in one piece, boy? Yeah? You sound surprised. Oh, never mind me. I'm just the inquisitive type. Stop into my office. Thanks for the job. I'm out of here. Leaving so soon? Well, you did manage our most difficult customer. I'm grateful. 
about the money. Well, times are tough, you know. Like our clientele, even when they're not. They're hard. Look, boy, personally, I'd love to pay you. You know I would, but I've got a family to feed. A huge family with a long line. It's even bigger when extended. So I want you to have this instead, a souvenir to remember the Heifer Hospitality House by. An inflatable doll. Of me, the best one I've ever had. Make no mistake about it. He's got scores of them. And he's scored with them all. <laughs> Take care now. I can't help but feeling ripped off. I gotta let Rita know about this dirty bastard Antonio. but it looks like Antonio's a fraud. I don't understand. Where did you get this? Would you believe the hospitality house? Apparently our prince partakes of more than just the sights. Andretto Bonabun? A gardener from Tijuana? How could he? How could I? How did you get that evidence, Ammo? Who are you? I'm the sheriff. And you're avoiding a question. Through a lot of stealth and, um, cunning. Ha! Huh. I've heard of going undercover, Ammo, but you take the cake. It wasn't like that. Not exactly. Now I know why they dim the lights. <laughs> Rena, are you okay? I will be, but if I ever see him again. There you are, my sweet. I have done nothing these days. Another night in your presence. How about a night in mine? <laughs> Such parochial humor. He meshes your credentials. I beg your pardon? How's your garden growing, Andy? What do you mean? Forgotten your little patch of Tijuana? Too busy sowing your seeds? Sprouted any empires yet? It was you. I knew it. I, I, I can explain. Of course. Sheriff, would you mind taking his statement? As soon as he's in irons. I, I've done nothing wrong. You can't arrest me. I know the law. I am the law. And right now there's a jail cell with your name on it. If you get lonely, I'm sure Emo can drag himself on over. You are making a mistake, all of you. I can't believe I fell for that con artist. He was too good to be true. If it wasn't for you, Al. I'm just glad I could help. Uh, Rita, this may not be the best time to ask, but may I have the honor of... Indian raid! Indian don't raid! Outside. Oh shit, it's them fucking engines! Got away, but don't worry. If they don't get him, the desert will. They're opening casinos all over the place. I came back to tell you, Miss Peralto. They're passing by your house this time. My father's things! No! Wait, it's not safe, Miss Peralto. Act five, free Billy. Another movie pun. Poor fucking Billy. He does not look like he's in a good mood. The commotion outside seems to have stopped. 
I should check to see if Rita's okay. Sure, now that it's safe. You're so brave. Oh, be quiet. All right, folks, we'll be back with another episode later. Later. <laughs>